you what is the winner between the two of these bed sets and we only had eight people guess the right answer on our other posts so we're going to start over again playing a game of paint paintbrush if you know how to play or you don't all you got to do is just comment right here in the timeline we're going to give away a 25 dollars gift certificate and if we get enough people on here by your sharing this you're going to get entered in to win this set of bedding 300 dollars value or you're also going to be entered in if you comment right here below with the word paint or any combo of those words during this live. So comment. If we get enough people on here, we're going to play it more than once. We'll just keep on playing. I know it's Friday. A lot of people out doing stuff. So uh, let's get going. Gonna you mean paint. not everybody's hanging out with us? What well, I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all got better to do than that? But hey, I understand if you do. We're going to put on some deglosser on this lamp. And this is such a pretty lamp. I hate to paint over it, like I said. But I've kind of uh, enjoyed it for several years now. I bought this at Kirkland's, I believe. So it is a resin lamp. This is not an expensive lamp, but it doesn't matter. I loved it just the same. And I have even, I don't know if y'all remember back forever ago, I showed you how to get this exact finish. And I did a vase in this and copied this finish on some things in my home before. And uh, I'm going to show you how to cre create a great lamp and also paint this little nightstand. And this is from Amazon on the bottom. So don't worry that we're painting over some fine piece of furniture here <laughs> on this little round piece no, because it's quite. way beyond that it's not a bad piece don't say that it's awful but it's just not a quality piece of furniture i was actually impressed that it came assembled i know amazon. well how could it come unassembled if it's round i don't know how we'd have put well, it together i've never got anything from amazon that came assembled so well that one is uh, definitely different but it doesn't weigh anything so i'm sure it's just a big bunch of cardboard but we're gonna paint it anyway <laughs> I'm going to show you how to get a great looking compliment to this set of bedding. And of course, Melissa is the answer there. For the set that won and sold the most, naturally, she would give herself the best set. You know how that goes. She gave herself I, that pretty rose set and gave I me that I actually thought I was set. giving you the best set. Oh, see how sweet she can be. But yes, she didn't. She didn't know that was going to be the best seller. The toile in the rose fabric there and behind. So we're going to paint this lamp But clearly and between this. the two of us, I am the dainty flower. Yes, so. you're the dainty flower. <laughs> you know that, right? Y'all know that. They're laughing behind the scenes there. We'll see all the laughs come up no, here. The little no, dainty flower, Melissa. No, they, yes. know. they know. All right, so we're going to choose Iron Gate because we know Iron Gate already looks fabulous with this set of bedding. But I'm going to show you something unique here using copper as an accent. I'm also going to paint this nightstand Iron Gate, but you got to wait to see what I'm going to do to both of these to make them sit separately against each other and to still stand out and look gorgeous with this set of bedding, whichever you have chosen yourself over here. Because I've already got that part done, I'm going to get onto the lamp and get it painted using, again, Iron Gate from All-in-One Paint. And uh, we're going to put Iron Gate on both pieces here. So let's get started on this one. I'm going to do a quick just brush and probably some rolling going on using a small brush. And that's so I can be neat and cut in all this stuff here. And you're going to see how quick I'm going to get this done. And just don't have to worry about anything as far as brush strokes go because this is not my only coat of paint that I'm putting on this. So I'll leave the little mystery going there, okay? So if you have questions, just comment. And if you are new to our products, you mm -hmm. can get yourself a sample this size that's going to be able to complete this project, both the lamp and the nightstand of all-in-one paint. You don't have to do anything except clean and paint your piece. You don't have to seal it, wax it. You don't have to do any kind of top coats. You're going to get a beautiful luster and you're going to see that just in a minute as this lamp dries. And I'm going to move to the nightstand and get both of them done while we're standing here talking. I just want to encourage you to uh, grab some pieces that you own maybe already that you have around your home and make them blend into whatever it is that you've chosen for your next look in, that, in your home, in your room, in your bedroom, living room, wherever you're painting. Kitchen, so many people paint their kitchen cabinets using all-in-one paint and uh, get great results. And if you're new again to our products and you're wondering, hey, that stuff hold up and do all they say it's the exterior like they say it sure is and uh, we've got years to prove that to you it's not new it's been around now for several years and lots of people in our group right now about two or three hundred and thirty or forty thousand the lost count of that but several thousand people in there are users and lovers of this paint and the reason they like it is because what I tell them that it works for interior exterior and then what it proves not just me telling them, but that actually they get those results and they paint their front door with a little sample of paint that's this size right here that I'm working with. They get almost, they get 40 square feet of coverage. So that's a 10 foot by four foot area and your front door is normally about a 36 by eight. So you're gonna get that door covered, actually 36 by seven. So you'll be able to cover your front door. That's covering great. 
doesn't it though? And wait till you see the sheen. You'll all wonder why I'm going to paint over this in a minute. But I am going to do something over this. So you got to stay with us and watch. Got anybody on here? Got a few. All right. All right, guys. If you'll share this, then you're going to have a chance to be entered in to win again. No matter if you've shared it earlier, you can share again. And if you don't mind your timeline being covered up with us today, <laughs> we just have, share. We have kind of bombarded them a little bit, I think. We understand that. We're understanding of that. We just had to get the bedding out there so you could see it all. And so you can understand what we're doing. And then uh, then we want you to uh, see all the sets that we're doing. Melanie, the Paula, which is this buffalo uh, check bedding here, looks it's great with lining. It. Yes, it does. It sure does. We should have <laughs> photographed that downstairs on we that should bed. should have, yep. And actually, we've got uh, Sherry on there now. It's beautiful. So it's I'll, neutral. Uh, I'll go down and take a photo of that. Yes, I just walked down there and kind of zhuzhed it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. It looks really pretty. Yep. So Debbie wants to know what color you're using right this now. This is Iron Gate. This is a true black. So if you love a true black, you love a black front door, actually black front doors are the number mm -hmm. one selling door in real estate. So we'll make your house sell quick, even in this market. I don't know how you can get it much quicker than it is in this market. but <laughs> Well, they say you can get $6,000 more, which again, I don't know how you can really do much better in this market. Than what people now. are getting, yeah. Yeah, but if you can get even more, hey. Paint that door black. Paint that door black. Maybe that's the magic. Who knows? Maybe everybody had a black door during this time. <laughs> but I'm just using a little small brush, and we're going to have these in our line very soon. We've got some gorgeous brushes coming. We're just days away probably from getting those, or I'm not real sure from exactly. Them from them shipping. From them shipping, yes. And then we'll have our art brushes, too. So we'll have everything that you need to get started. So We're almost at the end of all of our new products for the moment Almost, here. yes. So we'll be doing some demos um, in the coming few days here ahead. We'll be painting a shower for you using our fantastic water resistant top coat. So if you're not familiar. Some sinks. We've got some floors. You can now paint sinks, floors, and showers, and tubs oh, using I our brought some paint. of my tiles I want to mess with too. You can paint ceramic tile. You can already paint that stuff with our paint. You already know that. But problem was it couldn't sit underwater because you know, water de will uh, eventually destroy a battleship. So you have to know that water is the number one corrosive. Standing water. Number one corrosive. Water will destroy anything that it sits in for uh, the a long, a long enough period of time. So if you learn that in high school, I learned that in high school. Did you guys? That is the number one thing that will eat up anything is water. So we didn't want to put our paint to that test underwater. But uh, it is very durable and long lasting, but we didn't want to put it underwater. But we have a top coat now, and that top coat is water based, believe it or not. But it's very specific to what it does, and it is going to allow you to paint something like a tub or a sink or something that's going to be exposed to the elements, even your countertops. It's a great top coat for that. We've always used sealers like our waterborne uh, sealer that we have now, our satin top coat, but we have an advancement to that now. And you don't have to worry about doing epoxies that are going to yellow over time. This one is going to work for you fabulous. All right, so I've got a coat on this guy. You need just a little bit more on the bottom. I'm um, going to get this. Didn't I have any on that? Here. Okay. i got to get the finial too. On your side. Where is that? Right there. Here? Okay. Yeah. All right, remember this don't have to be perfect because I'm going. this is going to be hidden anyway. Mm -hmm. This is just my little base. All right, so y'all got uh, questions, ask them here, mm -hmm. and uh, want to get yourself a free sample of this amazing paint and transform things around your home, including leathers and vinyls, smooth fabrics, outside projects, inside projects, whatever it might be, your accessories, and uh, you're going to get one coat coverage on certain things, just like I'm doing here, painting a lamp, painting... You may uh, not always, though. Not using whites. You're never going to get that to happen with a white, but... Uh, I'm going to show you how to do brush and roll technique on this piece below me here. So stay with us, okay? And then I'm going to come back and do something fun here on this lamp that's going to make this look gorgeous. And a little artsy, a little artsy going on with this guy coming up next. All right, so let's set him out of the way. Linda says she got her faux pas today. Can't wait <gasps> Ooh, to use I can't it. wait to see what you do, girl. Can't wait to see Ooh. what everybody's going to do with Since faux I pas. Our battle. And I've got on heels, and it's She's Friday. been over here laying down, just rubbing it I'm in. I'm just going to take advantage take of this advantage. bed here. All you right, go ahead. Go keep ahead. going. You just rest winter's, over there, honey. Winners rest. You just go there and just rest yourself. You work so hard, and I, <laughs> I mean <do>. that. <laughs> I mean that. Oh, I just want to be sure and wish Jeannie 
a I happy, know, birthday. happy birthday. Mom. Her mother is uh, 40 today. <laughs> 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 you just leave it at that, right, Gina? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> her and I are the same age. <laughs> right. I love her comment on your picture today. Oh, yeah. So I am using, she said, uh, she saw their picture Melissa posted of the two of them together, and she said, what the H happened? <laughs> she said, we look great. What the H happened? <laughs> all right. I'm trying to keep it G here. Um, all right. It's a family uh, show. It's a family, family show. show. That's right. So you know what we're doing. Even though this is a new piece, we are deglossing for one reason, because this is a piece of furniture that who knows what's handled it, what's been on it. That's how simple you do it. You just brush it on there. That's going to ensure, go right on those edges. Make sure you catch everywhere hands have touched. This this has been touched by humans and this has been touched by people who work, factory workers and all that, who put this thing together and made this piece. So just because it's new doesn't mean that it doesn't need a cleaning. So just know that. You can look at it and go, oh, it looks really clean. I'll just paint right over that. You can, for sure. You can, but you may get something. You're painting over greases and oils and silicones and sealers and things that make it shine and look pretty and all that stuff are going to interfere with your bonding ability of any paint, not just this paint, any paint. So if you've got someone else's paint you're painting, I suggest you still rub it down with this cleaner because it doesn't require that you rinse it off. You just get in here and if you're using a crud cutter or something like that, you definitely have to rinse it off. And if you don't, you're painting over a residue there. We learned that the hard way. Before we had our own deglosser, we used to recommend all kinds of cleaners out there, and then we realized that they leave behind that a residue on the surface that also will cause problems with bonding. So I can't speak for any other products. I'll speak for this one. It's a fantastic cleaner, and it gets the job done, and I think so many of you love it, and it's inexpensive to use and so easy to use, and there's no smells. This is as important as the piece you're painting especially if you're working on kitchen cabinets. You want to make sure you get it clean because it's too hard to do the job twice and nobody wants to do it and then have problems down the road. So don't skip this step. It's super important that you take care of the little things and the big ones will take care of themselves. And that's a quote from my mom that she used to say all the time. And boy, has that ever rolled back to be the truth in my own life. What about y'all? All right, my little lamp's drying really good, so let's get going here on Iron Gate on this piece, okay? I'm so proud of you for cleaning that. Look at that. Look at that. She, she tried to get me to do it, but I told her that winners just don't <laughs> have to do clean it. on Fridays. Right. She could not do it because she was the winner of their program. <laughs> she just couldn't see doing that today. And the hills. She, and she the hills. Listen, you could have sat down and done it. No. Don't act like shoes were preventing the you from doing it. The shoes were preventing it. Right. Exactly. That's what I think. I'm going to sit with you, too, because I can't hardly sit. I can't hardly get in this shot with you here, so I'm just going to sit down here and sit Get right comfy. And you sit. These over here? Oh, I could lay down, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I don't want to do that now. That's how I paint at home. I lay across the floor and paint. All right, so we'll get down here good and low, and this little banker box is pretty perfect for propping this guy up. It, that was so good. I didn't think it was actually going to hold it. So. <sighs> you just debated, darn it. I, I could use one of her banker you were, boxes. You were right on that. I'm going to need that Every back, great though. once in a while, I can be right on something. It ain't often. It's rare. It's <laughs> rare. It's a very rare moment, but I don't want to forget it. <laughs> so I'm going to do brush, and then I'm going to roll. Look here what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back over that, because I don't want to go over that again if I can mm -hmm. keep from it. My dry roller, mm -hmm. just pull all those little mm -hmm. strokes right into pretty. Everything mm -hmm. I can do, and I can roll over. I can get by maybe with one coat, or what I call one and a half. If I can just get that to look good for a Right there. See why that paint's nice and wet? I'm just going to go right through it. Can you see that on camera, what it's doing there? Yeah. You can't? You can pretty well. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good. thought you said no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Paula, I know I've seen a lot of people in our Facebook group uh -huh. talking about um, having some difficulty, especially for some reason with the darker colors. Right. And I think they're fighting the elements, the heat and stuff, drying the paint really fast. Mm -hmm on them so like what can they do to kind of combat that yeah especially big flat surfaces. big flat surfaces well i did a video on that so here's the first thing i'll say if you're painting outdoors painting where there's a fan or air moving turn it off you got to work fast work in the evening if you can uh, when humidity is low meaning if you're in a real dry area in arizona or something like that where paint's going to dry quick uh, you're going to battle that so here's what to do remember this product dries fast but Anytime you're painting a big flat surface, you got to do one thing. 
you got to get the paint on all at once meaning that whole surface needs to be wet at the same time so you got to put the paint to it meaning if you're going to paint the very thin light coats it's going to dry before you can ever get this roller ran back through it and it's going to be important that you do this technique brush and roll just like i'm doing here but if that were a big tabletop uh, you got to cover the whole thing if uh, i was if i was painting a wall in a home let's say and i was a pro professional painter and i was painting a wall in the house and i was using black the first thing you have to do is you got to keep every band of that paint when you go down that wall you got to keep a wet edge meaning when I make a piece down the wall the next time I go down that wall again that edge had to be wet on that other piece if not you will see those warping marks and those bands and every time that roller hit the wall it's the same thing when you're painting a tabletop you got to keep a wet edge on the paint meaning Every time I go to the next area, that other area had to be wet. So paint in small areas or paint where you have natural breaks in the table, like where the table separates. That'll give you a great way to stop, pull your table apart if you've got a leaf. Paint one area, get that one looking great, let it all dry together. Then go paint the other side. Then paint the leaf, but make sure you do it all the same day. Put the table back together where you can see it. And... Uh, or actually, I would keep it probably together. That's the best way to do it. That way you can see what you've done but just pull it apart, but leave the leaf in the table if you've got a big old table. So, you've got to let it all dry together. If not, you're going to see that, especially in dark colors. You won't see it in light colors, but you will see it in dark colors for sure as it dries at different times. All right, so I've got a little drawer here, and I've got a um, some little hardware on this that is in oil rub bronze. So I'm going to do something fun to this and uh, make this stand out against this black. If not, you would never even see the hardware on it. I'm gonna open the drawer and get my little edges done here while we're going. Use my roller that always That's cleans it up. That's covering great on that. Huh? That's covering great on that. I'm gonna that. get one coat probably. I'll do two just because. I like to do two always. Just to make sure it all looks good no matter what mm -hmm. angle I'm at. I think they're excited. We haven't played paint, paint, brush in a while. I think everybody's excited. Oh, I excited. bet. Y'all, are they commenting like crazy? Yeah, they're commenting. They're hardly asking any questions. I That's think they're right. just busy they playing. They know how to do this deal. They know how to paint. Mm -hmm. Y'all already know the game here. So our, you know, here's the thing. Somebody said, are we going to teach classes and all that? It would be hard to teach a class because it would be so short. The class would be about two minutes long. You know, it's the same process over and over. No matter what you're using of our products, it's brush and roll or put on your first coat with the true applicator and get that uh, first coat on with the true applicator that mm -hmm. makes it easy on cabinets big pieces just doing that first little coat letting that ugly coat go on that way your next coat going on is going to cover great and going to be finished quicker mm -hmm. I like to use the true applicator for that reason yep. it would be a fast class wouldn't it it would be a lot of repetitive words <laughs> Well, y'all see us do everything brush, here. How roll, quick. Brush roll, brush <laughs> roll. Uh -huh. Brush roll, brush stipple. I just use the little applicator, and that helps. Or using the roller keeps you from having to do all the pouncing. A lot of people don't like to pounce as much, so this helps you get it done without the bouncing. You're actually stippling when you roll. Same way. This roller is doing the same thing that the true applicator does on round surfaces and using that on spindles, doing chairs. The True Applicator is fabulous for that because it'll let you go around the contours, like on a bed or where you've got posts and all that. True Applicator, you can't beat it. It's gonna let you turn that corner without having to get in there and go round and round with this. You can just do it with the True Applicator. All right, so we got you down there. And if anything, I'll have to go in here and go around this door later. But other than that, I think I'm good. Just got a little ways to go, and we got it. And then we're going to come back and do something really fun to this lamp that's dry over here. Almost totally dry. I'm excited to see this lamp. What's that? I'm excited to see the lamp. You can see what I'm doing, guys? painting under this edge here too. So be sure and ask questions if you have them. If you're new to our products, go to our website at allinonepaint.com and you can see how to get yourself a free sample. And I've only used mm -hmm. probably about a half of an inch of this paint in this jar and it wasn't even new when we opened it. 
so it had had a little bit used out of it so this stuff goes so far and you'll have to see that to believe it but uh you can paint your front door you can get a vanity in your bathroom you can get a lot of project out of just one little jar and that's what we want to give you you just pay that 6.99 shipping you're also going to get our sample uh, color card it's going to show you all the colors the paint comes in that way you can make a decision if you want to paint something else you've got that card there to see all the colors in your own home's lighting see what you think of them get in the daylight and take a look and see what your lighting looks like on them at different times of the night before you make a decision and that way you'll know which one you want to go with you're on the last little section I'm on the last section I've gotten around all the difficult parts here all the edges and so on uh, Ginger wants to know, do you think it'd be okay to pair uh, this bedding? She doesn't say whether, Ginger, are you asking about the Paula or the Melissa or both? Does it matter? Um, would it be okay to pair this with a uh, bed painted in the Iron Gate? Do you think it would be too dark? Oh, absolutely not. No, this would look fabulous with an Iron Gate bed. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of dark bedrooms. Oh, me too. I think dark bedrooms are romantic, don't mm -hmm. you? I like dark, moody rooms, mm -hmm. but I also like light and bright lit rooms. Mm -hmm. I like having a variety of light levels mm -hmm. in my house, and I like having different bulb temps in my bulbs in my house and different rooms. What's funny is I'm not a fan of mid-tone rooms. I either like it light or I like it dark. <laughs> well, I don't have sense. a lot of mid-tones going on. You won't find a lot of tan in my house. No, find a lot of dark. white and a lot of dark. All right, you see the light little bubbles popping up there. That means I got a little heavy spot of paint, but I'm er eradicating that really easily Keep by on. just painting right through it with the roller. Just roll, roll, roll. That's as easy as it is right there. I'm done. I got to paint a little on the top. Might have to get around this base a little bit more. Can't see for the shadows of that light oh, you going the here. Top, top. The actual top itself. I think I've got under the lip good here where I've got a good viewpoint of that. And just to show mm -hmm. you down in there, I've hardly used any of the paint. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna turn you this. actually might want to hold off doing the top so that you can work on your lamp. I am. You're right. That's yeah. so true. One little dot I got on the floor there. You'll lose your Make table. Sure I, yeah, I don't want to lose my tabletop. Paul, if you're really close to that, I'm not hit the bedding too. Yeah, be right. careful. Oh, I saw that. Thank you. Yep. I saw my don't little slider my over there. All right, so I'm going to leave that off until we get this done. All right, let's get the let's get the fun going here. All right. So that was Iron Gate that Paula right, was painting so with for those of you that are the asking. Camera here. Right, good deal. Now I'm going to add. Up. Had to pull them up. <laughs> Can't keep my pants up today, guys. I have to get some suspenders for those. What did I do with my little purple brush? If you saw that. Your purple brush? Or little brush. Up? Oh, I see. It's on this rag. Yeah. All right, guys. Getting the next thing going here. I can't keep that in my pants. Can't keep that. <laughs> Your mic's falling off. Mechanical Your problems falling today. <laughs> Malfunction junction. Okay. All right. Let's see if we've got any big wet spots. We'll take those, take care of those. We got one here on the front, a couple All on right. the front. I don't want those getting in my paint here. What I'm going to do, my technique. All right. <laughs> Robin and anyone else who's new to our page, you can get that free sample at allinonepaint.com slash free sample. Right in the top of this post, we will pin that link so you can just hop on there so you don't have to hear what we say. We'll send that to you and uh, well, you'll have it. Mm -hmm. I'll post it in the comments for you too. Absolutely. It's a no-brainer. I like them no-brainers, especially on Friday. I don't have much of a brain left. Okay, Amen. so I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to do a little white wash over this. I'm really going to make this match this bedding set to the T. Okay. I'm going to use, is this Manor House? Mm -hmm. Whoops, got a lid on here. Hang on, I'll have to get this off. Got it. I'm going to use some Manor House and I'm going to put it over this. And then I'm going to go back and put on some copper on this thing and make it really look great with I had you a rag on that thing. What you, you did. Do? You did, and I laid it on the ground. <laughs> I just made it life easy, okay? So I'm going to go in here and just brush on some of this. Here we go. 
All right, so hang tight now. Don't don't judge it till we're done, okay? Just gonna give it a quick little brushing. I want the texture to come out here. See all that texture in that bedding? How it's got all that going on? Just leave this as a little coat showing through. I saw a lamp in High Point at the furniture market. Actually, I bought them, and I loved them so much, and they were very much what I'm gonna do to this lamp. They were expensive, but I bought them anyway, you know, because I loved them. I love lamps. I have my mother in me there. She loved a good lamp now. Doing the same old way. Love me some lamps. So I'm not trying to get coverage here. Just using this little brush so I don't sling everything everywhere. Just going to add the little detail around here. I'm going to stripe it up a little. Uh, what about water? You got any water on anything? Just a bottle of water you can bring me, Mel? You want spray water? Well, spray water would be great. You know where that is? It's probably nope. over there on that shelf. No clue. Sitting over oh, there yeah. in Dakota's uh -huh. shelf. Grab yeah. that. Because I'm going to do that I with it. I feel like you're going to spray this bedding, though. That no, I'm not. Nervous. I'm going to spray I'm gonna spray away from it. How's that? You better not spray no paint on this chair. going to your house. What are you talking about? No, I can't use a queen. i got to have a king. Oh, I forgot. All right, guys, we're going to get make something out of this here. I'm just going with the flow. Don't know exactly what I'm doing, just doing. I know I want black, and I know <laughs> I want white. And a combo of both. Oh, my God, it works. <laughs> she just sprayed me with that. Oh, my God, it's come to this. It's finally come to this, I'm telling you. I've lost, I've got sprayed today, she's <laughs> laid on the bed today and looked at me smiling, showing her feathers here. Okay, you're gonna walk in give me room. that, I'm going to give you a douse with this. This war ain't over yet, girl. You're going to walk in London with her behind your desk. Probably <laughs> her feet up on it, like I do. I can't sit in my desk chair where I've had a lower back issues for years and my de desk chair kills me. I have to sit in my feet up or die, one or the other, so probably gonna do me on my desk <laughs> all right so I'm gonna rub this off can you see what I'm doing here yeah I want it to have that very textured look mm. not like a brush stroke yeah. don't don't panic yet now don't don't give me that oh yeah <laughs> she's gonna give me that oh yeah that looks awful I'm gonna try to rub it off basically that's exactly what I'm doing I want it to look weathered they don't give up on me I know they believe in it they're going, yep, that's going to work. Now, this is, won't be for everybody. You know that. This won't be something everybody likes. This is going to be something. Everybody won't see the love. Here, here's a good shot of what it's looking like up close. There we go. Show them. Show them the love. We've got more to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go with the, uh, there you go. I quit. <laughs> This gives me flashbacks to the countertop. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Nashville countertop. Where Paula yeah. starts going, it, it's, it's, looking it's looking pretty good. good. Take it. Maybe the pink fairies Drink another bill of that wine there. It's looking good. Yeah. That's, right. Maybe the paint fairies will come and fix it over there. Uh -huh. They did. They rolled right over that whole thing. They painted right over that whole countertop. That paint fairy did. <laughs> it looked good. What was funny about that was Colton laughing hysterically at me. At you, then he got mad at you, and he's feeling sorry for me. <laughs> Poor little thing, he's feeling like Paula's being abused. <laughs> it happens around here, guys. I'm telling you. you yeah. Up on my team by the end of the night. Yep, that's how it works. Oh, that was funny. That was funny. It was a good time. Hey, Shirley had fun. Mm -hmm. We should come up here, and we had more fun. Yep. Now, we're adding some character to this thing. It's getting there. One way or the other. Remember, we're got, we still got copper to go. Okay. Still got a little ways to go There's here. somebody somewhere probably pay $1,000 for that lamp when you're done with it. Sure will. And I'll sell it to you <laughs> for a little less. <laughs> give, me the, give me that employee discount. I'll give you that just for your birthday for 500 <laughs> So, see, I'm just... Guys, if you want to do something like this, I'm basically just kind of rubbing around here on the paint, using my paint on my rag to soften this in here. I don't want to kill all the black. 
And some of the original copper is coming back out. Too. It is. So we're getting layer, layer, layer. Yeah, I'm just kind of rubbing it off here. I want it to go well with this set. Or look awful with it one or the other, but it's going to look good. <laughs> if you it's get too given, much, you just paint it back. Right. If I don't get enough on something, I'm going to go over it again. You can't mess up here. This is just a, a vibe, all right? A feeling, a feeling. Next comes the copper. So these spots that I've already wiped on, I'm going to wipe on more because I want little dark spots to come through so it don't all look heathered looking. You see that? Where it was a little gray look, I want that richness to come through in some of it. See that? See that happening? Mm -hmm. Took a lot off on this one, but that's okay too. Don't have to look the same everywhere. Just act like you're trying to wipe it off now. Let that original come You're through. To like it. I do like it. If you want a little more, you can do that. You can go in there and hit little areas if you didn't get it smooth as you'd like. It's all kind of the direction that you're taking it off too. If you took off too much, just add you a little more. Put your swipes in there, kind of keeping them in the grain of what you're thinking the lamp would have in it. So we're going to put the uh, copper next. I'm also going to do the hardware on this piece below. So the copper will speak back to the copper there. Claudia wants to know, have you ever hammered indentions when you're distressing? Hammered? Mm-hmm. Uh, not on anything like this accessory because this would break it. But obviously, yeah, well, yeah, I've done that on furniture before, sure. Sure have. Try to make them look old, is that what you're saying? I'm assuming. So I'm just going up here wildly and putting this in to create a no pattern pattern because there's a lot of texture <laughs> in this and you can't see it. I just don't want you to look up there and see something solid where the rest of this lamp has got texture. Robin wants to know, could you do this to your cabinets? Well, sure. You can do this to anything. Nobody's going to stop you. <laughs> it's gonna stop you may you wish you'd stop yourself after the fact but I don't think you would if you know what you're doing and you get in there what I'd say is paint you a door see if you like what you've come up with and if you've got a creative looking home shoot you can do anything absolutely nobody's gonna here's the thing if it's your house you do you I've been watching a woman on TikTok paint she says you do you boo that's what I say I'm with her you do you do what you like. Nobody's going to stop you. Isn't that the greatest thing about life? The older you get, the more you realize it don't matter what nobody thinks. Reagan, it's about to get some copper, so hang hey. tight for a second. She's not yeah. liking us. She's thinking it needs a little uh, gold or silver. It's going to get it. It's going to get a little bit of... All right, so if I got too much here, look, I'm dry. I'm going to dry brush that back. Just dry. Just dry so I can make it all kind of soften and blend together if I need to. Look like it kind of drip down here a little bit and we'll do that. Now I like that effect a lot. Just kind of taking that dry brush and dragging down that smooth piece that's dark. Look at that, how pretty. Let it stay darker at the bottom. I know all those sounds are killing them. I Can know, they hear it? No, I know it's I know it's killing you. No. <laughs> it ain't too bad till you told me that. <laughs> Now it's all you hear. Is like, now I'll notice it for now sure. Now it's all you hear is a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'll notice it now. Be like a plastic, plastic bowl deal. <laughs> Dry brushing right over that black, right over iron gate that we put on there just to soften that base up. No, no rhyme to the reason here. Just don't want it to be totally black. And if I do want it totally black, I'm going to go back mm -hmm. over that. But I think I want it to have the little dusty feel. All right, now on to the copper. We're going to use the copper antiquing on that. And uh, just going to add some places to it. Now this stuff is intense. I'm just going to use the lid because it takes so little of this to do something. And let's just let's play it by ear here, okay? I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to lay it off on the side. I'm going to go right down these edges. It's going to highlight the outline this lamp basically with it and blend it up, whatever I want to do here. Just kind of bleed it back into the pieces. And this is our copper metallic antiquing, antiquing gel. Mm -hmm. 
come and round some of it if you want. And the white is Banner House? Uh, yes. Okay. I'll add a little copper over that little spot there to blend that back in. Same here. Just kind of lay it on the edge to kind of get a little bit of copper going on that. Jerry, Not a can lot. we pull that camera in a little bit tighter? Can you walk it over? Give us a little bit tighter view there. I think you're going to have to go way closer. Yeah, you can get tight now if you want. Hang tight, guys. you got to go for a little walk there. And a little bit lower. There you go. Perfect. Help. A little bit higher. Right about there. That'll work. Is that good? Yeah. Thank you. Can you see better now? Yeah. Now, when you start talking, Paula, just so you know, we're not going to be able to see your face. We'll have to That's all right. Y'all just slip read, or don't lip read any longer. <laughs> just lip read. Don't lip read. They've got captions. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. I hope we. I hope the captions are helpful to everyone, especially if you're watching from work. It's real helpful. <laughs> Doing our part to help you on a Friday there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you like a little bit of copper? Uh -huh. Whatever view that is, Jared, looks like we're in a totally different room. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no. I was like, where'd that come from? <laughs> it looked like we changed houses. <laughs> okay. I'm in another, I'm in my creative world. I, don't I know, she's not even noticing the camera's changing. <laughs> I wouldn't notice anything. There's my mom. Now she's on. Happy birthday, mom. Hi, Jeannie. Happy birthday. All right, did the we change subtle. this? Did we change this lamp? It's not as subtle here. I don't know how it looks on camera. It's pretty, pretty, pretty pungent over here. There. Looks subtle yeah. on camera. Well, I'm sure it's kinda, but it's not subtle here. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I think I'm getting a lot on it actually. I don't want to go overboard. I just want you to see a little copper, mm -hmm. not just look at it and go, "Wow, got copper on the lamp." Mm -hmm. Just when you get close, you'll see it's mm -hmm. got a little glow, little glow. It's definitely lo looking like a, it brings a little modern feel to a very farmhousey feeling uh, bedspread back here. Mm-hmm. All right, good. I think that's a compliment. Mm-hmm. All right, so there's no pattern I'm doing here. I'm just doing, all right, going on the edges mainly. Anything I think needs a little love, I'm putting it to it. And I am doing this little finial here. I don't want you to see that when the shade goes back on. We're going to turn this thing on in just a minute. Lamp and all. We'll paint the top and the whole works here in just a sec. Mm -hmm. Set it with a table. Are you going back up high now? Or are you no, down I'm staying down low. Stand okay. right here with you, I hope. Mm -hmm. I think I've got it. Oh, you're right. In person, you can see it. Yeah, really I good. can really well. So see, I'm just mm -hmm. going on that edge and lifting up. Mm -hmm. Slam my brush on the side, going down this. Touching that a little bit there. Just kind of rub that in. Just where I kind of made that. Painting. Yep, made a little dark spot. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, if, if we're freezing a little bit, it's probably Facebook. So just hang tight for a second. Don't go away. We'll be back. I think everybody jumps on when they get off work. At probably. Everybody's got to check the Facebook. The Facebook. I the love the Facebook. I got a spot here I didn't like right here. Let me catch that a minute ago. That's what they got to do. They got to check the Facebook and the TikTok. Yeah. Funny how TikToks really took over, has not it? I have to say I really enjoy TikTok. I never thought I would, but I have to say I love it. I've learned a lot of stuff on TikTok. What about y'all? Mm -hmm. I learned a lot of useless stuff and a lot of <laughs> useful stuff. I've learned a little of both. What did I do with my white? Did you see it? Oh, You're put right. the lid on it. That's why. You need more white? Nope. I'm just going to go around there on this all the way around where I kind of got it uneven. I want that oh. little edge to be white. Gotcha. All right, guys. It. We're going to be calling our paint paint brush winner here in right. just a second. So go ahead and... Uh, you call it. You, you get, get your answers in one last time here. You never know where Facebook's going to show it. 
And we're going to put the lampshade back on this and set it over here near our bed and let you see it one last time and see if you think Paula got a match here. Of course, our nightstand's not completely done. It will be. Hang on. I ain't done yet. Are you trying to leave? No. You're going to put another coat on it? Let's You're not going to be able to set the lamp quick. on it. Well, that's true. Yeah. You're not going to get to see it in its entirety here. No. I really you see that. Yep. I assumed you weren't going to be able to stand it if they couldn't see the lamp. Probably. That'd be my most thing I'd be <laughs> most interested in. It's like Let's I know you or doing. something. I know. You know, I like that I lamp know. deal. <laughs> doing the same thing. I, I see exactly what you're doing. I'm just dragging that down in there. You see that, what I'm doing? Mm hmm. Just making that sharp, defined area in white right there. Don't know why I want to do that, but I got one at the top. <laughs> just gotta do it. Well, I got one there. Mm -hmm. From a distance, I believe, looking at it, looking back at it, that'd be pretty. Again, no right, no wrong. You don't gotta do any of this. Just do what you like. Melanie says she can't wait to paint her daughter's countertop. She got her bundle today. Oh, great. That's great. We can't wait to see them, Melanie. We are so excited about seeing what you guys mm -hmm. do with the faux pas. And if, hey, main thing I want to see, I want to see that you guys say as easy as we showed it to you. Because I hate to see those comments that say, y'all make it look so easy. I don't know how to make it look any different when we do it live. I can't make it look any different. Mm -hmm. Just have to do it as, do it at, you know, doing it live is the best way to know. We're not editing a video. We're showing you what we do here right with you. I don't know how to make it look more difficult. We're just doing it, and then you get home and do you. I'm not trying it's to make stand. it look easier, you know. It's just, we just try to do it and uh, give you the best representation of what you're going to get at home. If you follow, follow what we ask you to follow, it'll come out. Okay. All right. Cut off all the copper on that end. No, I did not. It's got a lot of copper on it. Now, can you not see that copper all over? Not on that section. Oh. Well, it ain't got to have to. Hey, I'm going to touch this uh, little pull on this drawer front. Did I kill my copper brush? Yes, I did. <laughs> so i got to go back to my table one more time. I've got a little, like two little pieces of hardware here. Get those back in. Now, truth be in, I, I should put on another coat on this thing, but I'll do that a little bit later. But I'm going to just show you what this is going to look like. Just right on this oil rub bronze piece here, and that's the wrong screw in that one. That's the long screw for the other one. For the door. All right, let's put the right one on. They're identical. <laughs> One had a long screw, one had a short. This is a great little nightstand for, how much was this thing? Less than $100? Less than $100, yeah. $80 maybe, something Can't like that. Can't beat that. You need two little round nightstands, Amazon mm -hmm. has these. What a great deal. So I'm gonna touch these with copper. Yeah, if you guys need one, comment here, I'll find the link for you. And this definitely needed another coat on I'm this door, now that I get over here and see. Oh, yeah. I'll show you what the hardware looks like. With a touch of copper. We're going to put it on and rub it off. Not on the whole piece, just on that little bit of front. Okay. All right, I'm getting ready to see the final results here. And I've got our winner for paint, paint, brush, but I'm going to call it here in just a second because I want them to see your finished lamp when you put on your uh, lampshade. Okay. I'm just going to touch these. Let it go down all the little grooves. That's a mix of white. I started to say, that's got white and everything. Not looking good. Hang on there. I had a little white in my brush. <laughs> Let's rub that okay. out. That's pink. Well, it's good to know that that's how you can make a, a pink. Rose. Yep, you can do that for sure. You just want to have a little glimmer. You've still got some in there. Sorry. Right. You need to get into your actual, dip into your actual copper bar there. We'll have to. I think you have some in your lid now. Mm hmm. I do. There you go. Yeah, you can make that as dark or deep as you want or whatever. Just add a little glitter to it. Not a lot. I don't want a lot. You can spray paint them if you want to make them dark or go over them a couple times. I just wanted to have a hint to stand out against this dark. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? 
All right, they're not going to get a good view of it with the top not painted, so let's paint a little on that top. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm <laughs> paint around it. Look at this. <laughs> I can't not show you that. Oh. Watch. <laughs> we'll paint right to its foot. Look oh, at this. Oh, no. I'll take it up. It's going to leave a harsh line. You put the light, you put the lampshade oh, on, can you? So they can yeah. get the whole. Oh, thing. man. Hold Come on, guys. On. I got to walk in front of the camera. Sorry. You got to, you got to know who, mm -hmm. who your company is here. <laughs> All right. Talking about instant gratification. <laughs> I'll move it before, after we take turn the camera off, I'll move it and paint under the light, okay? I'm just thankful you didn't get anything on this bed. Sorry, watch your head. All right. I'll get something on you now. I know. I can't see this high up. You know, I'm short. I can't. I seriously can't reach it. <laughs> All right, here. You finish painting the tape. Here. Poor little thing. Poor little thing. Vertically challenged little just thing. Just a little bit. Just a little and bit. And you're in heels. What are I'm we talking about? <laughs> I still can't reach it. Okay. Oh, I can't. Oh, I got some on your lamp. So now that ain't gonna sit very well over here. I can't believe this is how we're doing this. Well, because we can't see it otherwise. Uh, Hang on now. Just don't feel right. It's not. <laughs> Please don't do this, you guys. Yeah. Don't do this. Don't do this. You gotta give them the full Monty here. <laughs> The full effect. Oh, man. We'll show you the real deal, but while they're here watching, they want to see the crazy I am. <laughs> well, that, they, they know. They're I'm learning. Ready. They know. They know who they're dealing with here. And they're being nice. They haven't even said that you're crazy yet. That's all right. I don't hurt my feelings at this stage of the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you know, right? Mm -hmm. That's all right. Okay, there you go. That's the whole deal, whole thing painted. Now, let's plug this baby up, can we? Uh, yeah. Hey, you know what we'll do? What? Set it down. Can you set it down with me? And we'll kick oh. this box out. Uh-huh. All right, you hold the front. We'll just jerk it like a table <laughs> <laughs> a magician. One, two, three, and we'll set it over here, okay? Right. One, two, three. <laughs> Look at that, see? That's called teamwork, is the dream work. Kick that out. Yeah, look at that. Little guy. Ain't he cute? Now, where are we going to plug him up at? Sorry, guys. Hold on. She can't stand it. Here, we got to show you. Yes, we do. There you go. Now, there you go. There he is. Is it cute? Let it dry a minute. Oops, I got is the lamp. designer? I got the lamp crooked. I got to pick it up and turn it and <laughs> see under it, so I can't do that. <laughs> do you see it all? Can't see it all. You can see him pretty good. I can't see nothing. <laughs> there you go. I think it looks really pretty with it. Uh, I can change to this. Delusional. Let me see if I can no, change cameras. Jared left. Let me see if I can. You had enough of us. But didn't yeah. that look, lamp look cute with it? There you go. How's that? Better. That looks like that expensive lamp I told you I found. How, How much was that expensive lamp? I don't even recall now. I just know it was Take expensive. Take a guess. Oh, it was probably $250 wholesale. So it's a $500 lamp, I'm guessing, somewhere in there. At That's least. an expensive lamp. It is an expensive lamp. And of course, one? they were metal. They weren't resin. You yeah. know, the difference is yeah. what they're made of the, these days. Right. More than anything. And we made it for a couple of ounces of paint. Well, that's true. This is exactly the finish it was. I'm gonna show. I'll show it to you when I post this. I'll post the one I had in my mind. Uh huh. That I flipped out over when I saw it. I thought, oh, I can do that. It was the shape of their lamp I loved. It had a round ball in the middle here uh -huh. versus a. Uh, Square body lamp, uh -huh. but hey, this looks just as good. Yeah, it was pretty cool. At the end of the day, cool. I'd rather have the money, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Have oh, that yeah. money than <laughs> spend you know that the much on lamp. You know the accountant and me would much rather have the money. Right. All right, you, so you there it I'm is. Frugal. So it looks better after we roll back through it. It don't look yeah. so wet. Okay, there it is. That. Oh, are you getting any comments? Or are they saying it's horrible? Or they, they like it. They are saying. Y'all like this. Tell her you like it. They're if giving you, do, you a lot of thumbs up. Uh, there you go. Lydia says it looks really nice. Thank you. And they're still playing paint, paint, brush. So let me oh. call this winner. Okay. It is Timmy Hilton Smith. All right. Good so, Timmy, congratulations. You are our winner. 
Thank you, Tammy. And Paula, I'm going to switch you back to that camera so you can close this out here. Okay. All right. You're back on the microphone uh, camera here? Yep. Back All on right. your phone there. All right, guys. Okay, well, Tell thank about you. the bedding one more time. All right, let's take a peek at the bedding so you can see it all. Let me move so I can see the lamp painted to match and the nightstand, and it's a little warm in here. <laughs> there you go. There's the little nightstand. Still wet on top. Let me show you the little copper accents against Just that. Don't so look under see. the lamp. Whatever you do, don't look don't under the, the lamp. Don't pick the lamp up. <laughs> <laughs> I still got my wet brush, though, as soon as we got off here. And uh, it looks great with that set of bedding. So mm -hmm. there's a white one. You can see that. That's bone in that little nightstand that we painted last week. And of course, there's the bone colored bed. So you can do a variety of colors and mix it up. You could even use probably grays. It would still look great. Or Stonehenge, that'd be better. Stonehenge Oyster with this set, because it's got that color around the Melissa set uh, on the quilt with the roses. So putting in those warmer shades would probably look better than a cool gray, say a cobblestone. I don't think it would look good with this, but nevertheless, there is a cute way to do some of your accessories that all don't look like just paint on them. It's got a little variety in the texture, something to look at, a little more artistic looking. And you saw how quickly we did that, just really easily using a little damp rag and uh, wiping back that color and adding a little copper on there. So get creative, think outside the box, put your house together any way you like it. It's your house. That's why they call it your house. It's yours. You do whatever you like. So mm -hmm. I like that. And uh, mm -hmm. I would put that in my home and not even think about it. I love it. I adore it. All right, guys, I hope you have a great weekend. Oh, and and uh, I got to tell Tammy to email me at melissa at htpaint.com to Tammy, claim her prize. Tammy, email melissa at htpaint.com to get your prize, your $25 gift certificate. Thank you all for playing along. Thank you for watching our bedding segments. And, of course, post your comments right here in the timeline and keep sharing this because if you share, you're still entered in to win. You got another chance to win a, enter in to win a $300 credit toward your bedding purchase or $300 to spend any way you like. So we hope to see you all later on in the week. I lost my got a little hole in the <laughs> And uh, we will see you guys later on. So don't forget about us. I'm going to make some pies over the weekend and I might show you how I make them because they're so easy. If y'all like coconut and chocolate pie, and we'll show you how to make both of them. All right, girls, guys, see y'all later. Thank you so much. Good night. I have no idea how to close this out. <laughs> we may Hold not on. be going anywhere. She don't know how to turn this off. <laughs> we just have to stay right here with you and keep painting. Maybe if I just close it?